Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf out here on the driving range at Les Bostead Golf Course with a, well, a brand new club here from Callaway, the AI Smoke Mini Driver. Jake Montgomery, fitting manager at Minneapolis Store is with us today to test it out and give his feedback. Um, the Mini Driver craze seems to be something that might stay. Uh, you know, TaylorMade's had their versions for a few years now, but I haven't really seen one from, from Callaway. I know they maybe made one back way back in the day for Phil when he was doing the two drivers and then zero drivers in the bag. Now we got the AI Smoke Mini Driver. So first impressions, Jake, what do you see with that thing? Yeah, so this is one of the first mini drivers that I've seen from another OEM quite a while. Yeah. Um, first impressions, it looks really like a mini driver. It's yeah. 340 cc's. The top line looks very similar to the other drivers in their AI Smoke line right now. Mm -hmm. um, these are really good for players, especially like if you can't hit a driver and you love hitting your three wood, this is definitely something to take a peek at. It's got a smaller shape, which some people find more appealing actually than a larger shape in a driver. Yeah. Feels like it gives them a little bit more feel, a lot shorter shaft. This is at 43.75 inches. So the shorter you make that shaft, the mm -hmm. easier it is to control. And then it comes in an 11 and a half and a 13 and a half degree driver. So you can kind of control yep. your launch and spin there. It's got the traditional technology you'd see in their other drivers there. It's got the AI smart face yep. with the kind of undulate, undulating topography on the back yeah. side, which helps increase ball speed on miss hits there, but the underside of this is all titanium, which makes the frame a little bit more rigid, really helps gain some ball speed. Yeah, then also worth noting is the weights on the bottom there too. Yes. Four gram and 12 grams, so you can kind of change up the weighting, and if you mm -hmm. want something lower spinning, lower, more penetrating ball flight, you can move that 12 gram weight and position it forward, and then vice versa within the back, the 12 gram weight in the back, uh, more forgiveness, maybe higher launch, mm -hmm. um, and of course, between the hosel as well, you have all kinds of adjustments that you can do to the Paradigm AI Smoke Mini. So um, what else are you expecting out of this? Is this something that you're gonna see a lot of people fit into maybe, or is it kind of like, I mean, we'll talk about it towards the end of the video with our you know final thoughts segment, but um, it's kind of the, the club, it's either A, like someone who doesn't want to hit a big driver or someone who might want a sort of second option off the yes. tee that's a little more powerful than a three wood. Mm -hmm. 100%, I mean, there are definitely gonna be players out there that they might get enough distance out of say their five wood or their seven wood where they're okay having a bigger gap to their three wood club yeah. where this thing is really going to let you attack long par fives if you have a narrower tee shot this is a great club to pull out with that shorter length shaft it's easier to control yep. hit some more fairways with it so there are definitely a variety of players that would go to this club um, and when it fits the right scenario it's a fantastic option awesome well We'll have you hit some shots today, both off the tee. Maybe we'll try a little bit off the turf here yeah. as well to see how that thing launches the ball off the deck. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, so Jake, we're starting here. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a, a kind of low tee, which is probably the right play with this yeah. club, right? Kind of teeing it down lower than uh, a driver. 100%. And we got to that, the 13 and a half loft there? Yep. Okay. With so the 12 gram weight in the back. Perfect. All right, let's see, uh, let's see what this thing can do here. Absolutely. This thing really at the ball just looks like a super easy to hit three wood. Oh yeah. Yeah, got plenty of spin, which on this, this is one of those clubs, it's almost like you, you kind of want, you want to make sure you have enough spin. For sure. Right? You know, it's, it's not one that, if you get a club like this and you're spinning in the low 2000s, it's going to play more like a driver and you're not going to have the control benefit that you would Absolutely. Um, if you had, you know, say 3,000 or 2,800, I don't know yeah. what the exact, the best mm -hmm. practice would be with this club, but. You know, I'm not looking to get anywhere near like 300 off the tee out of this thing. I yeah, want this yeah. to be controlled and straight. Right, yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. That was caught pretty well. It's cool to see this ball flight. It's kind of like yeah. a low and then rising. For sure, uh, you can see the spin draw. take the ball up in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting spin well over 3,000 here. What's the total on that, like around 250? Total on that was 259. Okay, wow. So, I like that a lot. There it is the again. Wow. That. that thing just kind of a low riser, mm -hmm. but it, you're hitting that nice, beautiful draw every time. That one's right at the target. Your dispersion is kind of kind of gross right now. Okay. And it's uh, granted, I I always feel like this thing starts pretty zoomed out, but I'm zooming in here, and it's you know, I have to zoom in pretty far for that circle to get big. Is what I'm What's saying. the average spin rate at so far? You're at 3,900. Okay. So oh, it's, yeah. it's a lot of spin, which is, again, as you talked about, not mm -hmm. not the worst thing. No, not at all. Yeah, you're working your, you can work your, your shot in there too, which, yeah. is, which is nice. Um, 
uh, you can work in that, that kind of power draw that you like to play. Mm -hmm. That one knocked the spin down a little bit more there. 3,100 on that one. Okay. It's for a total of 267. Wow. Where did that finish to the line? Pretty close to right on it. I mean, yeah, yeah I was. So I hit kind of a toe push there, and I, it just came yeah. right back. That's nice to, I mean, AI smart face, right? Mm -hmm. 100%. That's kind of what that is. All right, let's do let's do one more off the tee, and then we'll uh, maybe take the tee away and see what we can do off the deck here. Because right. granted, I know, you know, you got your spins a little bit higher, mm -hmm. but if we really wanted to see distance, what we could really get out of it, obviously, what we would do is yeah. maybe move it down in loft, 100%. maybe go, maybe and move the weight forward, and we really, really kind of comes into how you yeah. want to play this. If you want this to be more of a tee shot club for something yeah. narrower, take the loft down, put the weight in the front, knock that spin down a bit, get some more roll out. Yep. If you want this to be in kind of just a real long three wood. Add a little bit of loft, put the weight in the back so we can still get height, but you get all the ball speed from yep. this kind and of driver totally, shape. And as we mentioned too, you know, totally be able to hit it off the deck as well. 100%. Yeah, so yep, that's a good one to end on. Same shot, that towering yep. draw. 239 to 251, a little bit more spin registered yeah. on that one. It's um, kind of low on the face. A little low on the face, okay, but still, um, we have some really good numbers here. We got an average carry of 237. Mm -hmm. The average total of 261. The spin rate, as we mentioned, we got plenty of spin at 38.65 on yeah. average there. Um, the ball speed at 158. Club speed at 106. So, I mean, it's it to your point. I mm -hmm. mean, average smash of 149. Okay. Even with yeah. all that, so you're hitting the ball efficiently, mm -hmm. and. It's, it is playing like a mini driver. I mean, yeah. I, I know what your driver numbers are. Mm -hmm. You know, you're probably 110 to, to 115 in the club speed if you're really going after it. Yeah. And your ball speed is in that mid 160s. If you really catch one up to 170, this is playing like a mini driver, just right kind of a step yeah. below those numbers, 100%. right? Kind of fitting right in there. Um, now, what I'm curious about so we have our apex height there is 65, launch angle 6.3. So definitely launching it low. For sure. Uh, I want to see now what happens if we hit it off the deck. Mm -hmm. It's obviously going to bring those numbers down a little bit more. But it, the nice thing today, wind's going kind of, well, kind of like this. Yeah. Kind of hit it into, it, into the wind and Get see what, what happens. Yeah. Oh. Well, that got high. Oh. Maybe you should just not have, not use a tee no. ever. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, the spin is a little bit higher, which makes uh -huh. sense. Yeah, 4109 spin, but you still hit it 238 carry. You see your launch angle there was 6.0, so slightly lower. Yeah. But that's pretty that darn good. It's almost like it's almost not even there. a difference. No. Here's another good one. I was hit more centered on the face. Yeah, spin came down. Yep. 3468 on that one. 269 total on that one. Jeez. Good. All right, let's get one more off the deck here. So yeah. And I'll, I'll give you, I'm going to ask you a couple questions about hitting off the mm -hmm. deck there. Jeez, you should just play this. Quick. Yeah, no kidding. You're kind of, I can tell you're kind of like impressed. That, see, yeah. that one launched at 1.8, or excuse me, 1.8, 8.1. Okay. 1.8 would yeah. be. No, uh, 42.55 on the spin there. So mm. I'd say the spin on, the, on those shots definitely went up a little bit. Yeah. Now, it's... With this club head, it's a kind of, it's a deeper face, right, mm -hmm. than the typical fairy wood. 100%. How do you feel, is there a, or a confidence, or what does it feel like at a dress when you're setting up on, you know, to a ball that's off the fairway? I honestly didn't feel uncomfortable with it at all. Okay. I mean, I'll sometimes hit driver off the deck in a round. Yeah, I okay. mean, if I got a great round going, I'm not going to be crazy enough to do something like that, but if I'm just messing around, I'll, I'll do it. And I have somewhat good success with it. This is just super easy to hit off the yeah. deck compared to a driver. I mean, it's a lot shallower face. The bottom's a little bit flatter. There's more loft on it. I didn't feel uncomfortable at all hitting that off the ground. Um, I've tried a few mini drivers outside before, and I've quite liked them off the turf. Um, my problem has always been I don't necessarily hit them further than my three wood. So yeah. My three was a lot easier to hit, so I haven't necessarily put one in the bag. But from what I saw here, I might be contemplating that. Yeah, that was really good display. I w I'll be honest. I was surprised at how similar your yeah. shots off the deck were compared to off the tee. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that's going to be the case for everybody, but yeah. it's a really good indication today that your your shots that you hit off the ground are getting very, very similar numbers, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more spin, just because I think the natural tendency is to hit a little bit more down on it. When for it's on sure. The ground. And you also hit it lower on the face with yeah. it not being on the tee, low face shots spin more. Yeah. So, but distance wise, the, the height, the same 
trajectory on that draw all mm -hmm. looked really good. So um, I think we can say the testing portion here was really good. With yeah, the I love this thing. All right, Jake, testing complete. Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Mini Driver. Lots of words, but a lot of great production out of that thing as well in the testing, both off the tee and off the turf. Uh, kind of summarize that, and then we'll also dive into you know the golfers that will best be, a, I guess, a good fit for that club. Yeah, I mean, I would say my first impressions is just ball speed. For yeah. a three-wood style mini driver club, this thing was taken off. I mean, it was like a hair shy of 160 ball speed yep. much every time. Like, my driver's at like 164, 165 ball speed. Yeah. So we're getting a ton of speed from this club. Spin-wise, it was a little high. I'd maybe move the weight up to the front, yeah. dial the loft down a little bit, kind of fit this a little bit more. But that's what's great about this club is we can really dial it in to be whatever type of club the player yeah. wants it to be. If someone wants this to play as a long three-wood, that spin rate's great because you're going to yep. launch it lower. The spin's going to get it up in the air. You'll have the land angle to stop the ball. Mm -hmm. If you want this to be a club that just rolls out forever, you're still going to have pretty much the same consistency if we dial that loft down a little bit and get the spin down, but it's just going to roll out further. Yeah. So this club can be a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but if you don't like a driver and you prefer a three-wood or you're looking for a three-wood that goes a heck of a lot further, this is a great place to look. Yeah, that's uh, it, it's fascinating to see all that ball speed on there. And to your point, we ha kind of have this set up today as if you know you're trying to hit it as high with as much spin as possible yep. right that's kind of the way it's set up and mm -hmm. we have the highest loft and we have it that 12 gram weight in the back um, we can do a ton of things with that optifit hosel and we can move the weights around and suddenly it can be kind of a low piercing ball flight that you know maybe that spin goes down to say sub 3000 and all of a sudden your total distance goes way up but your spin goes down mm -hmm. and uh if you're again you're someone playing say in texas you're used to win like this um, that's going to be a benefit for you for yeah. that club so there's all kinds of things here and then you mentioned the type of player. Player, you know, looking for something else off the tee, maybe something different than their drive or something they control a little bit more. Uh, mm -hmm. That's one player. And then, of course, we talk about uh, the player that maybe just wants this as their long, long club off the tee, sure. large driver. It's going to be great. And you can really dial that thing up to hit it almost as far as you would a driver. Mm -hmm. It's a really good club there um, and all the versatility with it. Um, I'm excited to see how it's received by, I guess, those Callaway loyalists that we have out there. Um, that are maybe waiting for this something like this in the bag. Um, I, I know you're going to have some great fittings with it for sure. Yeah, we already had someone calling and asking about it, so people are excited. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, coming up soon on the channel, Callaway A Paradigm AI Smoke Mini Driver compared to mm -hmm. one of the uh, other brands out there, yep. of course, uh, TaylorMade. So with theirs, we'll do a head-to-head -head comparison, look for that. Otherwise, Jake, thanks for the feedback and all the information on the AI Smoke Mini Driver. Uh, golfers, if you're interested, Reach out to us a second swing, schedule a fitting. We'll get you dialed in if, and see if this is maybe something that should go in your bag. So, Jake, thanks for uh, thanks for coming out today and doing the testing for us. Thanks for having me.